and uh, so you know, I have several experiences to share, but I'll, I'll tell you, I'll begin with the Baba Puri one, which was probably the most profound. I remember we went in a car from Rajgir to Baba Puri, and you know, uh, first of all, uh, let me back up a little bit. It was probably the first time I went to the eastern part of India. And for all of us who have lived in Bombay or in, the, in Gujarat and so on and so forth, uh, the first thing that strikes you is how different East India is compared to West India. It is, uh, you know, you do feel it is significantly challenged area. There's so much more poverty. And, uh, you know, we see like, we think we have seen poverty in, in Bombay. But when you go through Bhavapuri, you realize, uh, and mm -hmm. I remember very distinctly that we were trying to go into Bhavapuri and the road to the school uh, basically is really a single lane road. I mean, only one car can go through, but obviously in India they managed to have two cars <laughs> go through that road. And we were stuck, uh, you know, all because two, I think the truck driver on the other side didn't want to back up and somebody in front of us didn't want to back up and so we were stuck yeah. for a while and we were I was watching all the the slums and the so it's a I mean it is uh, even for me who has seen poverty growing up the power puri kind of struck me as how how backward or how um, you know challenged that area is and then slowly we walk, finally we reach the school and uh, it's, it, it, it's, a, it's just a different world. And the first thing we saw, uh, we were, obviously we were running late and uh, the first thing, uh, I walked into the school and we went into this, uh, they had a the, the science exhibition, the high schoolers and these are the seniors, the 12th grade students of the school. Uh, it was a hall about, I would say, maybe four or five times this size and there were a lot of kids. <clears throat> and Ma was, I think, I was with somebody else and I was just talk, walking around talking to the um, <clears throat> talking to the kids. I can tell you that <clears throat> science exhibition, all the projects <clears throat> completed or those kids were doing better than my own school in Bombay, which was considered the best school in India. So, one of the things that, uh, and I, I spoke to several children and their stories, to see that these kids from Pahapuri compete at a national level with their science projects, I think that struck me. Um, uh, so, I want one point that maybe the movie does not convey as well, which I have found in every Vilayatan institution, is the strife for excellence. I mean, they are not settling for <clears throat> just providing education to the kids. They are the they are striving for making them the best. I mean, it's not. I I do work with several education institutions and initiatives, and I think. The reputation of Virayatan is is just remarkable in that <clears throat> how how well they do the job. It is not just doing the job. Sorry, I forgot the principal name. Manoj. 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 Manoj Bhai, it's a leadership that they have cultivated, right, and in terms of how they do it. The same thing is true with the engineering college in Kutch, uh, with the pharmacy college also. So, I just want to <coughs> make a point. You, we, uh, as part of the conference, we also saw the presentations of Virayatan London, Virayatan Nepal, uh, Virayatan Africa. <coughs> Very, I'm going to tell you. In fact, if you see the Viratan Africa presentation, <clears throat> I, I would almost bet you that there is not, there will not be a dry eye in this room. The, 
and the people in Rwanda and Africa what they are doing for uh, uh, <clears throat> for the children over there is just is really really heartwarming. Uh, Rwanda and Vidya Pit in London, their stories were also so quite amazing. Uh, I do hope someday we can we can create such a Vidya Pit here in in US also because I think part of this message of seva, siksha, and sadhana is somewhat best conveyed through children. And you know, <clears throat> when you hear all the, like when we were seeing the Nepal, we write in Nepal in less than one year, all the Nepalese children were, began their morning <coughs> saying Namori <coughs> and And the, the effect of, of love, right? I mean, in, in terms of, the way they are achieving it is through love, right? How much love uh, Acharya Ji is able to give to each and every person that comes close to her. Uh, I think that's also, uh, that's, that's quite remarkable. So, um, I don't know, maybe we'll talk about Palitana. Um, I'm, I'm going to tell you that uh, my experience with Rajan Palitana, which I don't think you guys know this. Um, I went to Palitana because my dad <coughs> um, grew up in Palitana, in a Balashram, you know, when... Um, Basically, his uh, sort of he, nobody was there to take care of him when he was two years old, so they just put him in the Balashram, and and there was a Balashram where he lived for at least uh, the first uh, ten years of his life. So <clears throat> my grand, <clears throat> I mean, his mother had passed away, and the grandfather was shipped off to Katak, and so he had literally nobody. And he lives in this Balashram. He grows up in there. And we went to visit this Parashram for the first time. We thought, okay, we should do something for the place where my dad grew up. And, and the Parashram still exists, uh, but they are facing challenges. In the, uh, it's a nice, nice ashram. They provide everything for the children. Uh, but there are only, even though Parashram can house third, about 300, how many, what was the capacity? 300 boys? Only 60 of them are there. And I think we were investigating and suddenly I uh, I had uh, contacted Jay about the Palitana and I visited uh, visited the, uh, the Virayatan uh, Vidya Pit that is being built in Palitana also. I just want to give you some realities. So this Barashram, which has got a lot of funding from the Jains in Bombay, is not able to attract uh, boys. They, they provide everything, schooling, and so on and so forth. And one of the things they told us was that, <clears throat> that the people, part of the reason they are not so successful is because they focus, their rules are only Jains, they have to go to this one particular school built next to it. And they're only Shwetambar Jains. And so many restrictions that they have put in who can come to that Bharash. But their focus was not education. You know, it was the focus of the Bharashram was still, you know, how many, um, I can go more in, more into, but it was strictly teaching how to be, how to do all the rituals. But they were all afraid that as soon as I talked to a few other schools in Palitana, they were all afraid that as soon as Virayatan is built, all the kids will want to go to the Virayatan school. I mean, this is not even there yet. So, I was really struck. I don't know if I ever told you guys, but it conveyed to me what reputation they have created for themselves in terms of education. So, you know, they had asked me to speak, and I'll tell you one of the things that I've learned from Acharya Ji is that... Uh, this idea of seva, right? Yeah. Which is, uh, I mean, she serves, uh, I think, it, so many, we, you meet so, much, so many leaders in life, right? People who create impact on society. But I think what she does is, um, it, it's just amazing, one individual who can, within fraction of second, whether it's a, two, three-year-old child, or whether it's um, 
very it's a very learned scholar apne when we were after vidhatma ek lag kon acha je dadi guru shikhar chand shikhar chand i mean he is there and then within the first day or so he starts saying i want to devote my life to you so she has that kind of a simple impact uh, i met him at uh, when we were drinking tea one morning and after you know i had spoken and he comes in the morning and he tells me the impact we like and had on him so um and i can go on and on but i think the idea of doing so much service without discrimination without uh, without a sense of uh you know it doesn't matter what the timing how much or what time she is the i saw her sir and i think i can say that same concept about shubham ji sanmitra ji shilapi ji ja i mean it, this is just the the gene of serving without any restriction uh just grows i think when you are in in varayatha i'm so fortunate you know that that i came and spent those those time and i think everybody from houston who were there i'm sure felt the same way if you get a chance uh do go and spend some time i think uh, i guess i can talk about kutch they are going to have a similar conference in kutch uh in january of this coming uh, coming year but this time around i i think uh we would like to be more than visitors you know we would like to participate and help and and uh, and i think you would also see that uh, i mean i want to tell you guys that houston is also an amazing place i mean the people here are really spectacular and, and i think if given an opportunity to to serve and help i think you will get uh, you will get that yes. you get that back so we would love to to come and help that was the first visit that was the promo now yeah. we just you become part of our family and we all do things together no, thank you for coming really i'm i'm happy to answer any question there's so many aspects of i think if we can look at it even as a, from a uh, from a bigger uh, picture is that this idea of jaha jinalay maha vidyalay you know it is it's truly a transformative idea um, if you can just imagine Uh, every place take santeshwar take palitana take uh, any place where you go um you all have seen this right the the level of of begging that occurs how many of you have have given money to somebody in palitana to the beggars when you go there or to santeshwar right yeah yeah all the so many things And what do you think? Why do we do that? Because they don't have it. Because they don't have it, right? You think? You think that we think that? Oh, apne Bhagwan Darshan toh aaya chhe, thoro daya bhav tha hai apne man ma apne you know we apne chokra ne joina apne api api dayi hai. Ane pashi apne nikle jiye. Ane mone aaya chhe un dasvaras pula. जो पालिताना चढ़वा गया तो चढ़ी नीचे आया ने आज तो बदता यू गाइस हमारी बहन ने हमेशा बात करो यू नो ने शी कैन नॉट से नो टू एनीबॉडी એટલે हम लोग का आवा ने कितनी बड़ी चेल जे पण डोली वाले होय बजा आई के 10 20 छोकरियो ऊपर चढ़ी ने साथे नीचे आवी ने बदु ने नीचे आए पछि हम लोग को विचार का पैसा भी दे सु तो नहीं એટલે बदता ने लई ने हम लोग का कोई ग्रेन की दुकान में गया बदा ने एक एक किलो एक अर्धो किलो कई ग्रेन अपाड़ी ने बट स्टील थ्रू द इंटरेक्शन विद किड्स वी रियलाइज के देयर इज रियली नो फ्यूचर फॉर देम दे हैव नो अदर चॉइस देयर इनकम फ्रॉम फ्रॉम बेगिंग इज सो हाई दैट इट इज इंपॉसिबल फॉर देयर पेरेंट्स टू पुश देम टू डू एनीथिंग डिफरेंट not only that you can't really find a very good school in sanjeshwar you can't find a really good school in palitana uh, 
so I think that if you look at this idea of creating a, a, a school like what you just saw in Pawapuri, if, if it can be created in Pawapuri, I am sure it can be very easily created in, in Palitana, in Tankeshwar, in, in any place. So I, I think it's it will take time, maybe in the next 10 years, it will make a transformative change. Yeah. I think both in the religion, like our Jain religion, and it will make a change for our, our kids. Um, I'm not, uh, <clears throat> one other thing I will tell you, like Bombay Ma, one other interaction we had was uh, with a, a scholarship scheme in Bombay. Like if you are a Jain kid and you need uh, scholarships or money for education, there is a very good syndicate among Jain Dirasar to get, to get you money. <clears throat> they do a good job of, of, and so Jain kids are in places like Bombay are able to go and get some help uh, for education. But you go outside places like Bombay, there's a big, big challenge. And uh, I think we, with everything we can do, every little thing we can do to help with education of of Jain kids, and it doesn't have to be Jain even, but especially Jain kids in all these small towns, I think we can, uh, we all can, in, even if it's a small way, we can make an impact. So, uh, I know we have not started yet, but I think as Houston, we can, we can, we can, we can team up together, we can, we can figure out where we want to build, build these kind of schools, and, uh, and Virajan, Really has two great, two, uh, two really, actually three amazing things uh, that I feel. One, uh, most importantly, they have a phenomenal transparency. Like you, what he said, Sunamathu, uh, uh, Philadelphia, is it? Dinesh, Philadelphia, na. Africa. 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 Is really not stored in some uh, fixed deposit, fixed deposit accounts and stuff like that. That money is used for for, for the good good of the children. And third, they really have the leadership. Right? They have proved it over and over again. If you go to Nepal and see what they have done in a span of less than a year, uh, in each of these places. So very rare, I think, to find such combination. Even in a genuinely good non-profit institution, uh, so getting getting all that together in one place is 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 kind of rare. Yeah. Like, like these are the things that I learned in, in the in the process. And, uh, but I, so there's so many tentacles to this in terms of. Um, what it, this can do, what it can mean to us. So it's just a wonderful organization. And I wish you guys can all touch it somehow. And uh, it was truly heartwarming. I think Ketla Chabra, that day up in Houston, I, just eye surgeries. In that eye hospital, it is truly mind, mind boggling. The doctors uh, who come there are not ordinary doctors. Uh, um, if I can quote, if I remember right, right in, uh, I think that doctor, first of all, they do every eye operation. It is not limited to just cataract. So anybody who has any need, they do it. Some of the operations that you and I were to go and do them in India, they are phenomenally expensive. Um, I think we must have done, they must have done thousands in that, in that three day span, eye operations. We talked, we like, as in Houston team, 
we talked to the people, we went and sat next to the bedside, all these ladies who got the eye operation, we, we, we toured the whole hospital, we, uh, uh, I mean, it was very, very heartwarming. And then after doing the operation, you know, we are giving them the, the gift, right, which is the chadar, the kambal. It, it was not just giving them the, the ability to see. I think in the process of giving them that, uh, Acharya was was really teaching them how to be better human beings. In just a matter of, I think nobody went back from that place unchanged. I mean, including us. I mean, I mean, we just the, the, the power of doing this changed us, right? I mean, I think that was, of course, it changed the people who were getting the gift of sight. So, uh, so that, that, I think that's some of the things like I can. There are so many I can tell you about my personal experience with that uh, uh, And uh, in terms of the simplicity and frankness, right? I mean, I, which is, you know. Sadhu, scholars, who know so much more about Jainism. And but to be able to explain to you, to touch you about what Jainism really is and how to live as a Jain is what I feel good. Okay? Thank you so much for your time.